نعم عن عبد الله بن عمر رضي الله عنهما قال نهى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم عن الوصال قالوا إنك تواصل قال إني لست مثلكم إني أطعم وأسقى ورواه أبو هريرة رواه أبو هريرة وأعيشة وأنا سبن مالك ولمسلم عن أبي سعيد الخدري رضي الله عنه فأيكم أراد أن يواصل فليواصل إلى السحر Here we're going to go into the ruling of continual fasting. The fasting of al-wisal, which is continual fasting. What is it? A person does not break their fast. This goes on. Continual fasting. The messenger said, Abdullah ibn Umar, he said, Naha Rasulullah, the messenger prohibited, anil wisali, the continual fasting, where the person doesn't break their fast. The Prophet prohibited it. And when the Prophet prohibited it, the Sahabas, they said, إِنَّكَ تُوَاصِلُ Oh, Messenger of Allah, but you do wisal. You do the continual fasting. He then said, إِنِّي لَسْتُ مِثْلَكُمْ I am not like you guys. إِنِّي أُطْعَمُ وَأُسْقَى Allah gives me provision, food. And Allah also gives me, my thirst is quenched. And my hunger is, it's wiped away. My hunger is taken away from me. Abu Huraira and Aisha and Anas ibn Malik narrated this. Then the messenger said in another wedding by Muslim in Hadith Abi Sa'id al-Khudri, فَأَيُّكُمْ Whichever of you أَرَادَ he wants, and you wasila, he wants to do continual fasting, then let him do it to suhoor. So meaning, don't do the iftar, miss the iftar if you want to, and carry on to the suhoor. But don't do two, two days consecutively. This hadith, the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said something. He said, I am provided, food is given to me, and my thirst is quenched. The scholars, they differed. What does that mean? That I, food is given to me and my thirst is quenched. What does that mean? There's two opinions. Some scholars, they took it literal. That the Prophet gets food sent to him. And water is given to him. Alayhi salatu wasalam. And that it doesn't break his fast. Hmm. Some scholars, they took that. This is where Allah was honoring him. And another group of scholars, they said, no, this is not literal. No, it's not literal. It means that the thing that food gives you, which is the energy, the messenger's given that energy already, it's built in him. Like he doesn't get tired and fatigue. And this second view is the strongest. It's a second view is the strongest. And it's the view chosen by Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, ibn al-Qayyim, al-Shawkani, ibn Baz, ibn Uthaymin, ibn al-Si'di, rahimahullah. All of those scholars, they said the second view makes sense. Why? Because if he eats and he drinks, then he's not fasting, is he? And listen, oh, no, 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 no. He gets food and drink brought from Jannah. It still doesn't eliminate that he's a human in this world. Wherever the food comes from, he's not fasting. Does that make sense, brothers? So that's one point that we need to understand. The second thing that we want to understand from the hadith, inshallah ta'ala, is the continual fasting. Is it prohibited? Is it prohibited? No, it's not prohibited. The reason why it's not prohibited is because the messenger said to the companions when he, they wanted to fast with him, he said to them, you guys are unable to do it. You guys can't be able to do it. You can't. I can, but you guys can't. So in other words, if they can do it like he can, they're allowed to do it. And the only reason why he prohibited was lack of ability. Lack of? Ability. And some of his companions actually did it with him. Another benefit that we take from the hadith is the sahabas, they question the messenger's action and statements not being the same. They questioned him. He said, Ya Rasulullah, but you do it. When he said to them, you can't do the wisal, but they said, you do it. And then he explained it to them. Sallallahu alayhi, alayhi wa sallam. And this shows us that every single body will be scrutinized whatever they say if they don't do it. Are we all together brothers? That your speech and your actions should be the same. And the messenger didn't become angry and say, how dare you ask me? But he explained it to them. Alayhi, alayhi salatu wa sallam. And he explained to them the reason why he does, he does it. And that he was only doing it out of concern uh, for them. That he was only doing it out of concern for them.